What is up guys, it's DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video for my channel. This is going to be another little tutorial, hopefully short and brief, just kind of getting to the point uh, on how to do the update for the Prime 4 for the 2.0.0 update, guys. Uh, so I just want to make it really quick. I want to show you how to do it via corded, uh, taking the download from your laptop to the Prime 4. Uh, I've showed how to get the 2.0 uh, download onto your laptop and now I want to show you how to get that software to be able to kind of coincide and work together with the uh, laptop and the Prime 4. So you got to get that update on your Prime 4. Now you can do this via Wi-Fi. I've shown how to do that on the Prime Go. Uh, so go ahead and check that video out if you would like. I'll leave a link for that video in my comments but if you want to do it old school kind of in my opinion uh, old school style uh, and get the download straight from the laptop I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now guys so if you guys get any help from this video please like uh, put a like on my video uh, please like and subscribe if you guys like tutorials or if you guys like review videos I do kinds all kinds of review videos uh, try to do valued items things you don't see a lot on the internet or on video so uh, tune into my channel guys, please. I'm trying to keep up as fast as I can with, you know, trying to get some good content out, some videos. But like I said, if I can just help a couple people out there with these tutorials, I'm excited to do so and I'm happy to do so. So thank you guys so much. Let's get into the video guys. So uh, first I'm going to take you down to the laptop. Uh, it won't be the best camera work, but uh, I'll, show, I'll get you down to the laptop, show you how to get the software out of the laptop. And then we'll go ahead and connect that to the Prime 4, show you the Prime 4 and get this going guys to get this update completed i've done it a few times so uh stand by and see what you guys think so let's go ahead and get into it guys all right guys so what's up i'm gonna give you guys this quick video real quick on how to download the 2.0 up for your software and your hardware so i already showed you guys how to get the desktop version on your laptop, which was this side right here, you download the 2.20, 2.0.0 update for your Windows computer. If you have a Mac, you can do it for your Mac. And then on this side, it says desktop here, and then it says OS over here. Now, uh, this is talking about all your, your uh, actual equipment. So you'll just go to pick whatever equipment you have, if you, whatever you have I have the prime 4 so we'll arrow down all the way to the prime 4 and then we're gonna go ahead and download that um, for my Windows computer here so it's going to start downloading and that's gonna be in my downloads and of course to get there you just go to your search put engine software or you can do you can just go to enginedj.com backslash downloads and that'll take you to this page as well. Um, it's going to have all your downloads. And like I said, you just arrow down. And it's kind of confusing here because at first I thought this was, you know, desktop and then I thought this was maybe for Apple or something like this, but it is for all your uh, equipment there, okay? So this is the right page, guys. You just have to arrow down um, to get to where you need to, okay? So then I, you go ahead and download that, and we're going to go ahead and close that. Go to your file explorer on your Windows computer. Go to your downloads. And here is the Prime 4 updater. We're going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to extract and open, and then we're going to go to our Prime 4 now. So we're gonna go down, you're gonna go to your t utilities, of course. So if you don't have to go there, you're just gonna hit you know, your menu and go to your utilities. And you're gonna go to utility, of course. And then we're just gonna arrow down all the way down to the update firmware option here. And we're just gonna go hit reboot. Do you want to update via web or computer? I want to do it during the via the computer, so we're going to go ahead and do computer here. Now this is the point where we need to go ahead and hook up our cable. I'm going to go ahead and grab my cable here. Here, I'm going to hook up one side to the controller here, or the all-in-one. 
however you'd like to call it. And then I'm gonna hook up one. So this is gonna go to my controller right here. And then this side is going to go into my laptop here. So we're in update mode here. You can see everything's flashing in update mode. And then we're gonna go to back to the laptop and we're gonna go ahead and update Prime 4. And it's gonna go ahead and start doing the update. So it is currently updating my Prime 4. via the cable going around into the prime four here so that is good everything is working it's download went to my downloads opened it it opened up the update firmware updater and now we're getting going here and this is for the 2.0.0 update to go to engine DJ software now, it's not Prime, it's engine DJ. So I showed you guys how to do this on the Prime Go via web. You can do it web as well, but we can also do it here. So now we're gonna go ahead and done here, and we're gonna go to the Prime 4, see how it reacts. And you can see on the bottom, I do have the 2.0.0 update. It was the 1.6.1 before. Let's see if I get my channel back. You can see that I do have all the sources on the bottom. It's probably going to ask me if I want to migrate my music here. So I definitely want to do that. We'll see. And you see it's database is from a newer version of engine, not compatible with this version, but it will be. It's just got to do the update. It's updating the controller with the new information on the bottom, you see. All completely normal so far. Let's see how it does. Also, you guys can get an idea how long this takes. Like I said, if you guys get any uh, benefit from this, if you guys are helped by this, please put a like. Please like and subscribe for more tutorials in the future on the Din and DJ Prime 4 or Go and uh, I showed how to do the go via web. This is via cable and download, so hopefully this guy's helpful for you. Now it's updating, it is updating the controller to 0.39. It is now updating the mixer to 0.1.48. Uh, don't know what that means exactly, but I know it's doing an update. So currently all the lights on the Prime 4 are on this side are on. Uh, this side just went off. They were on before. Oh, uh, now the that side's on. You now it's going through all everything. Still doing the update. Taking a little bit of time here. I believe at this point you're pretty much done with the laptop, so everything's good there but let's continue on with the update here. Uh, I am appreciating what they're doing with the update, but like I said, I just, uh, Definitely takes time to get all this done. So we're still updating here. 
It is almost done. We'll see what happens after it shuts off here. You can see that it is completely off. I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on. You can see it does have the 2.0.0 update. I'm curious about my music. Let's make sure everything works here. It's checking my device. It says it's checking my internal drive that I have in it. It's upgrading the database, which is fantastic. This may take some time. Do not remove the drive, shut down anything. Okay, and now we're back into my music. You have the new update. It did mig migrate my uh, songs and everything, so that's good. All right, just wanted to finish this video up. I hope you guys found this useful. This was a Prime 4 update via corded, via wire, via a, using your laptop to send the update to your Prime 4, guys. Hopefully it was helpful. If it was, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and share if you guys are interested for more tutorials in the future or for some uh, review videos that I put out, guys. Thank you guys so much. Uh, please uh, give me a like if it was helpful, guys. Add some comments. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I hope it was helpful, guys. Uh, I, like I said, if I could help uh, a couple of people out there, then I feel uh, blessed that I was able to do that. So thank you guys so much. Have a good day, and we'll talk to you guys later.